previously on episode 13. After an awesome interview I had with the Gojiru master Hokama Sensei, I was very fortunate to learn what he does for his dojo during the Kihon practices or the basics practice. Since Gojiru puts a heavier emphasis on locks and throws compared to other karate styles, it was very interesting to learn those in the practice. Today I'm going to train their kata, the most famous kata called Sanchin. This is a training kata or tanren kata in Japanese, like the naihanchi of Shorin Ryu. I was able to approach Sanchin from three different perspectives. One, learning the movement. Two, getting smacked. And three, with a kami or that heavy vase with water inside. So let's get started. If you just take a look at the movement of Sanchin, it's not such a complex kata. You're taking simple steps, and the blocks and the punches are simple. However, in order for you to perfect those, it takes a long time, and to put in those little efforts onto the little details, you know, it's gonna take a very long time. My question for you is, Sanchin is practiced in other styles as well. In what other styles do they practice Sanchin? If you know, please comment down below. If you don't, I think it's a good opportunity, so Google it and let me know in the comment section below. I'm gonna be answering it in the next video. Also, like I announced yesterday, I'll be holding a free Zoom lesson at the end of this month with two topics. First one is the no step yakuzuki, and the second one is hip rotation. Everybody, it's free to sign up, so why don't you give it a try? I'm gonna leave the um, sign up link down below for you guys to too. And I really appreciate if you can support the channel from the PayPal link down below so I can continue doing something like this for free. So let's get back to the video. Mm -hmm. 
配線して、こう、右、はい、上からこう、立ててます。大きさとか、はい。で、次、奥から。大丈夫かな。大丈夫。はい。はい、次、はい、引いて、はい、呼吸で吐きますけどもやらないじゃはい、で、握ると、握って、はい、はい、次、これは同じですね、はい、ステップしてください、はい、押して、思い切り押して、押し返さないように押して、押して、押して、押して、で、手を返す、手を振り返す、はい、押して、押して、押されない、はい、そうです、そうです、はい、また返す。はい、もう一回ステップ。はい、同じのをやります。重心崩さないように。はい、おむきをして。はい、返してください。はい、それで右足組んで。はい、突き引いて、はい、右手に入れて、はい、こう足こうにして回ります。これ、もっと幅、狭くね。はい。はい、あと同じです。今のは何を変えられたんですか。今はまあ一緒にこう重心を落とす感じでした。手だけじゃなくて。なるほど。このこれが呼吸法です。ですね、はい。僕は呼吸法で。はい。はい。はい。次じゃあもう開いて。開く。はい。で押して。でこれを丸くしてみてください。丸くね。はい。それでよくから打ってみて強く。よくから強く。はい。いやいや、うん、こっちが痛いわけ今はなるほどでまっすぐ伸ばしてみて今度はおおこっちが痛いだからこれが非常に大事円形を作るということなるほどタイヤのあれねこれで耐えると相手が痛い,が痛い、ね、もう一回思い切りやってあっちが痛いんだからはい思い切り打ってくださいはい次まっすぐ伸ばしてまっすぐ伸ばしてはい思い切り打ってああ我慢できないでしょいや全然違うその違いがこれが技というか技なるほどはい次回してはい押して重心を崩さないようにします重心壊したらダメねはいでバックしてはい終わりですこういうそれでよしあげるあのあげるありがとうございます Now I'm going to be trying it out with the kami in my hands 右足はい右足進めて腰を落としてはい、重心を落として持ち上げる。呼吸をコンティーズで吐くんですね。はい、ステップ左、右、はい、続ける。はい、踏んでます。その時、帯が温まるんですね。はい、はい、次にステップ、はい、ステップ、はい、ステップ。で、右足引っ張って、こうします。はい、回る。はい、OK、こっちこれを。So, as I was editing this video, this thought just popped up in my head. In karate, we train by getting hit, you know, getting smacked. However, I noticed in other martial arts, they hit something to get stronger. Let's say in Muay Thai, they kick down trees, right? Those banana trees to train themselves. But I don't really see them getting hit to get their defense up. Is my understanding correct? Or if you do any other martial arts, please let me know what you think. Do you guys still train by getting hit? Or is this the case in karate? Let me know in the comment section below. For the next episode, I will be doing their Gekisai Daiichi, which is one of their basic katas. And this also connects to the Kobudo katas that I will be later doing in this series. So please look forward to it. Subscribe to my channel. 
And like I mentioned, I'll be holding a free Zoom lesson at the end of this month. So please check out this video. And yeah, I will we'll see you guys there.